Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter and this is your update in ophthalmology and eye care. And in this episode, I would like to explain anterior corneal micropuncture, which is a technique that we can use for patients with recurrent corneal erosion syndrome. Now we've had a couple episodes in the past about recurrent corneal erosion syndrome, including one that covered PTK, which is an alternative treatment for this. Now remember with recurrent corneal erosion syndrome, the surface of the eye or the cornea can slough off and cause pain and irritation. And like the name says, it can be recurrent. It can happen frequently, even multiple times per week in patients causing redness, pain, and irritation. This could be the result of an old injury or abrasion to the eye, or it could be from an inherited eye problem in the front part of the eye where it doesn't stick down the surface like it should. Now, uh, to understand this, there's the three layers in the very front of the cornea. The first layer is the epithelium. That's the surface layer that's continuously turned over and replaced just like our skin. That's the layer that comes off. Behind that is the Bowman layer, which is the layer that it's supposed to stick to. And then behind that is the stroma, which is the main part of the thickness of the clear cornea. Now, with this technique, what we do is take a specialized needle or instrument and make fine impressions or punctures through the epithelium, through the Bowman layer, right into the, um, barely into the stroma. Now what this does, it creates very small scars from these very small punctures and then it helps improve the adhesion from the upper layers with the scar to the underlying layers and it can decrease the recurrence of these erosions. Now uh, with this technique, since it may create some scars that last longer, we prefer to use this in areas that are not in the center of the cornea. So more towards the outside, if this is the location of those areas, where the erosion is happening, then we can feel more comfortable about doing this technique. It can have some use uh, towards the center, but we worry that we don't want to put too much scar there. And usually I'll prefer to treat with PTK in that central area because with that technique, there should be no scarring left behind. Now, after the procedure, patients can feel some discomfort, a little bit like the erosion itself, We'll put a specialized contact lens on the eye to help it heal more quickly, make them feel more comfortable, and we'll also have the patient use drops afterwards, including antibiotic drops. Now, if you have any other questions about this technique or any questions about recurrent corneal erosion syndrome, please post. We'll be happy to answer them, and we hope to see you again soon next time on A State of Sight.